now renovating the Kallavesi Lake bridges. There used to be a bridge that could be open, opened whenever a ship went under it. But when they opened the bridge, it usually happened that they couldn't get it closed anymore. And actually, Kuopio is an island, so the only way north from Kuopio is this road. And when they opened the bridge, everyone was fucked. And they were even more fucked when the bridge couldn't get closed. The bridge workers, they were like, oh, what the fuck are we going to do? The tra traffic is stuck now. Everybody's going to blame us. They put some grease in the engine and everything. And then they got the bridge closed again. But now they are building a new bridge. A better bridge, a higher bridge. And the traffic should be better now. Then. So I hope that someday, in a few years, maybe we can drive past this section of the road 120 kilometers per hour. But now we have to drive slowly because of the renovations here. And there's a train track on the left side also, so that the train goes beside the road. And Silingermi Airport is also close by. Traveling inside Finland is really expensive if you are not a student. Uh, I, I went by train first time in three or four years and it cost like something like 100 euros. And I was like, oh god, this is so fucking expensive. And I was in the restaurant cart and this fucking handicapped guy he had one arm and one leg missing was drunk in a wheelchair and he came to pick up fight with me that one arm one legged man all drunk and then he said that hey you fucking fucker can you give my my leg behind my back because he had his I don't know, wooden leg uh, behind his wheelchair. So I gave him his leg. And then, then he started to pick a fight with me. And I had to pay 100 euros because of that. Like to, to finish National Railroad. Uh, so after that I always take my car. No use paying 100 euros and get. get this handicapped guy fucking with me. God damn. So if you travel from train from Oulu to Helsinki, it costs more than to fly from Tampere to Italy. So <laughs> that there's the price. So it's better to fly to let's say Milano and to take a train to Helsinki from home. And so, really expensive to travel in Finland. Ahead you can see the Kuopio Tower on that hill. Uh, Kuopio, I mean Puyo Tower, of course. Did you know that if we get another ice age, the whole population of Kuopio can be eva <laughs> evacuated to the Puyo Tower? There used to be a this small wooden tower on Puyo Hill, but the people said that hey, we need to get even more uglier tower in Kuopio. So they built a new old tower, old and ugly tower to Puyo Hill. Oh, this lake is beautiful, but you can see it, you see only the road. But it is really beautiful. The sun is shining and Trees are yellow and everything. 
really beautiful. And we are now past the renovation work here. And are slowly speeding up to 100 km per hour again. And we are in Kuopio now. And our journey to Kuopio Pastens, of course. And on the left side there was this hotel called Big White. I have visited it one time, but I was really drunk, so I don't remember much from that time. It was a nice place, I think. morning when I woke up with this chick in the hotel, I just took the taxi and taxi back home. Okay, and here you can see Kuopio. Let's see what's happening here. Oh, German Rater, exit ahead, 100 meters. I haven't been to Kuopio well, I was in on the medical days, as I told you. Puyo, Orthodoxic Church Museum. Well, that sounds interesting. <laughs> Who wants to go to Orthodox Church Museum? times. I had to drive it so many times that I knew the traffic lights from memory that like when we have to stop in these next lights I know that I can get the next three lights ahead and then I have to stop again. And it was fucking boring driving this road when I knew that okay whatever I do I have to stop in the next in the third traffic light. But it was easy I just put the cruise control okay on even here and had a nap and then started to slow down when the traffic light was coming ahead and there's even Kalpa it's, I think, it's an ice hockey team, I think, and then there's Cups, a football team. Kuopio is known for all the sports teams that they have, and they always lose, never win. And we are slowly coming to the bus station of Kuopio. I used to live right next to the bus station. On Puyo Street, on the right side there's a graveyard. When I used to be a devil worshipper, like something like four years ago, one night we went to the graveyard and we kicked the tombstones down. Well, but I was really fucked up that time, so not anymore. Those devil worshipping girls, they are really good looking usually and they like really kinky stuff, so that was good about that. 
my devil worshiping days. And this is Kuopio bus station. I remember when we, I was in the army, the bus to army left from here on Sunday evenings. Uh, and I was pissed off because I had to go to the army. Oh, there's an army guy sitting right there. Me and German Raider, we, we were in the same army base on a different time. So maybe we should visit our army base and make a video about that. But this is the end of our marathon one hour trip. I hope you had fun. At least I did. And maybe even German Raider. Ah, so this is Kuopio Bastes. Thank you for watching and I hope I'll see you soon again.